Today I want to take a look at a new operating system that was just recently brought to my attention by one of the developers. He reached out to me on Discord and asked me if I would take it for a test drive, take a look at it, and then let the community know about it. So that's what I'm going to do today on eBuzz Central. So the distribution we're looking at today, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, guys. I don't know if it's Kashi, Kachi. If you've got an idea of how to do that or how to pronounce it, please drop that in the comments below. But I do like the intro screen on their website, it's Linux distribution based on Arch. Their goal is to provide you a better speed, security, and ease of use. And then you can scroll down through here and it covers kernel, KDE Plasma, installer to suit your needs, a better browser, awesome themes, the most powerful features, and then you can scroll down. They've got a really good looking website so what we're going to do is we're going to go back up top i want to click on download download takes you over to source forge i downloaded it already it downloaded pretty easy and pretty quickly actually and then if we go down through here you've got was founded a year ago after almost one year of development we are really proud to announce our first stable release of the graphic user interface installer i'll show you that when we get into it here in a second and then their file systems, you've got ButterFS, ZFS, ext 4 XFS, F2FS. And after we found a solution to provide all the custom kernels with the ZFS module integrated, we have implemented a one-click install for ZFS. And then you come down here, you've got different desktop environments it's available in. KDE, Cutefish, i3, GNOME, Openbox, Wayfair, LXQT, Bspawn, Kofuku, and XFCE. Now, Kofuku is Bliss in Japanese. And then down here, Linux kernels that you have the availability of using. They use different schedulers, different patches to improve performance. The following schedulers are supported for CFS, CACUL, and CACUL RDB, BMQ, PDS, and TT. And then you do have a kernel manager inside the operating system. And then you do have a package manager that they have set up inside the operating system. So without any further to do, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead real quick and zip back on over to my desktop and we're going to open up GNOME boxes here real quick and what we're going to do is we're just going to start this operating system up and see what we're looking at now I run a lot of things in virtual I run very little that I go from a just install it and let's take a look at it I'm going to go ahead and give this one a little bit of a storage limit so I want to kind of introduce you to the installation that they do on it their installation program which I believe is just a customized version of Calamares, but I'm going to double check anyway. Let's go ahead and enter that. And like I said, I wish I knew exactly how to pronounce Kashi OS. Kachi? Kachi? I don't know. I'll go with Kachi. And if that's wrong, you guys, I'm sure will let me know in the comments below. So let me take a little break until we get to the splash screen. Okay, we've come to live user. Let's go ahead and go to full screen and let's hit enter. And it looks like we will have to adjust the resolution. Or did it just do it on its own? It looks like it just did it on its own. And there we go. It looks as though we are in Kashi OS. Let's go ahead and blink, click in here. Let's go ahead and pull this over. Welcome to Kashi OS. You do have a welcome screen, which I really like. Uh, documentation. You got a readme file, release info, wiki, forum, software, mailing list, get involved, development, there is a donate button right there and then launch installer. First thing I want to do is let's go ahead and hit the meta key. Go over to settings. Where are our settings at? There are settings. Let's go ahead and open that up. And I want to scroll down. And let's scroll down here and let's look at about. And Kashi OS. We are running in the Keymude hardware model. 2 gigabytes of memory, software rendering, 64-bit GNOME version 42.3. We are running on Wayland. All right, so let's close out of that. Let's go down here. And let's go to uh, Terminal. Let's pull up Alacrity. There is no NeoFetch. HTOP. There is no HTOP. Let's try top. You're running at about 624 megabytes of the two gigabytes I have issued to it. So that's not too bad. It's your typical GNOME desktop. 
And let's close out of that. Let's go back over here. System monitor. Resources. And it's reading about the same. So you're not between top and system monitor, you're reading about the same. But what I want to know right now is accessories. You've got icon browser, screenshot, archive manager, firmware. There's your extensions if you want to use them, your GNOME extensions, calculator, tweaks. So tweaks is in here, pre-installed out of the box. Uh, let's go back over here. Okay, so you do have your cache package installer. Let's open that up. Let's authenticate. Okay, so it's opened up. Okay, so pretty much you can go through and pick what you want. Audacious, Lollipop. Okay, so we've seen this in previous distributions, but I'm glad it's included in here. You can go through and pretty much pick all your favorite applications right off the bat and then come down here and click on install. So let's close out of that. Let's go back over here, post install, and then Octopi Cache. So that is pretty much how you're going to install software would be Octopi. Okay, so if you're familiar with pretty much a lot of different Arch distributions, installing software should be pretty easy. And like I said, I do believe it has a customized version of Calamares, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. And that's what it looks like it's loading up right here. So you would do the welcome, then you would go next. And then you've got Chicago, okay. Keyboard. Then you could do the manual partitioning. Or just erase disk. You could add swap. And then come over here and pick what file system you wanted. So let's go ahead and click next. Then you can come over here and pick what desktop you want. Whether you wanted Plasma, Cutefish. XFCE, i3 Window Manager, GNOME. I do like that. You get to pick whatever you want over here. So that's that's definitely a one-up compared to some other distros. There are other distros that have this tool. So don't blow my comments up going, hey, this is already available. I know it is. All I'm saying is it's nice to have available in a newer distribution. Oh, I got to pick next. Sorry, guys. I'm sitting there clicking on the next, and I'm not clicking down here right. Uh, base development, then you can go with your ZFS kernels, selection of different Kashi kernels, Cutefish, i3 window manager, Firefox and language packages, NVIDIA drivers, printing support, supports for HP printer and scanner, and accessibility. Then, of course, you would go through and put your users in, then your summary, then your install. So... That's pretty much a typical Calamares install, other than the fact that you get to change and choose some different packages and stuff prior to install. So we're going to go ahead and back out of that. Right off the bat, just looking at it, it's a decent looking little operating system. It's based on Arch. You know it's going to be right on the bleeding edge, especially for those of you out there that enjoy Arch better than, let's say, an Ubuntu or a Debian-based product, or even Fedora. We can change over to dark mode. And you just have your basic GNOME settings that you're used to. Now, I will say this. If you go over and change it to a dark mode, your whole background changes. If you go back to light, it changes. But then you don't have any backgrounds. Now, this is something that might change once you download it and install it. And it's installed on real hardware. But I kind of do like the fact that they don't just pack it full of a bunch of wallpapers that you're probably never going to use. So, what do you think about Kashi OS? Is it something you might download, throw on a USB Put into a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member right here on YouTube, going over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel, buying us a coffee, or zipping on over to PayPal and throwing us a donation. And I want to take a little time right now to thank the people that make this channel possible, and us, all of my supporters, my YouTube members, and my patrons. Executive producer, Mislav Krileja. Producer, Mitchell Valentino. VIP sponsors are Eugene Lee, Brian Mitchell, Antoine Wilk. All access sponsors, Mike DePolis and PJ. Sponsors, Cato Gosted, Nitrix Development Team, Chad Jones, David Collins, Marco Lopez, Steve Willard, Eric Crowell, Joel Celerzano, Warlock, Sibius, Art Edwards, Marmaduke, Keith Hefner, and Stein Sailor Audland.
Thank you guys, you're the reason this channel exists. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, here are a couple more for you to take a look at. I generally cover Linux and open source, but sometimes I do do a little Windows bashing and maybe a little Google bashing as well. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.